NFT. NFT. NFTs. NFTs. The non fungal toenails or naked flag tricks or non fungible tokens. Whatever they are, everyone is talking about it. What is this new system where digital only products are bought and sold? The painted work by the robot known as Sophia sold for $700,000 at auction. A robot painting worth $700,000? That's definitely a scam. To find out exactly how the tech bros are screwing us this time, I spoke to the top tech bro. Nah, it's not a scam. It's the real deal. You can, you can really make some money, definitely with NFTs. Because you said so. Yes. Look, Mark, just level with me here, okay? Is this like the Mavericks where you got stuck with NFTs and now you're just trying to convince everyone that it's cool? For real, Ronnie. NFTs are really a game changer. I can issue an NFT to allow you to have ownership in my house. I can issue an NFT to allow you to have ownership in that trophy behind me. You can spend $25, $50, $100 on great collectible art. This stuff is just starting. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as more people understand it and become comfortable with it. I don't know what the f it is. It's just, it's, it's just a simple way to own things. What I really admire is how you've taken something really simple that people understood and replaced it with something super complicated and it's gonna make you even more rich. Bravo. Ronnie, look, if you go into NFTs, don't do it to speculate. Don't buy something because you think it's gonna be worth millions of dollars. Buy something because you wanna collect it. And if you really truly like it, then it's worth it. The Cube had me convinced it's time to buy NFT art. But should I start with a GIF, a song by Trevor's Cool Tween, or a Pyro Girl meme? Or I could pick up some work by one of the stars of this new scene, digital artist Beeple. The technology is actually quite simple. You basically just upload a video and you can just make an NFT out of any video, any picture, any sound, anything you want. Wow, great. But how much can you realistically make off this? I sold a JPEG of that was a compilation of the last 13 years of work that I did. And that just sold at Christie's for $69 million, making me the no third <laughs> no, no. third most expensive living artist. What? <laughs> Holy shit. This dude raked in $69 million on an NFT of one JPEG? This must be some Mona Lisa level artwork. Okay, you know what? Can you just show me this art that you're talking about? Okay, so here's the piece that I sold. This was the first picture that I did. It's a drawing of my Uncle Jim. And this down here is the absolute last picture. It's uh, a bunch of weird stuff drawn by a fully adult man pervert. Yeah, that's a real inspirational message. Keep being a weird pervert and eventually, if you don't get arrested, you might make $69 million. And it turns out Beeple's art only gets more mature from there. So the Mickey thing is sort of imagining if everybody wanted to drink milk from this weird robot Mickey thing um, because it, they put super addictive properties into it. So people were kind of a bit cracked out trying to get this Mickey milk. Okay, look, I don't know much about art, but that looks like something someone who knows about art would say is not art. Uh, yeah. But what do I know? Maybe noted critic Jerry Saltz could help me appreciate the true value of people's work. What you're seeing is pure crapola. They're just stupid cartooning, unoriginal, bro, high school notebook, blah. It also sold for $69 million. So how do you reconcile your personal opinion with the fact that he's now super rich? Well, Art has always loved sleeping with money, and money loves having sex with art. But in this case, it's more like the 69ing, right? It's like a dick-waving contest. At auctions, you see white guys bidding up other white guys until, you know, they bring home the trophy. The next tech bro will want to pay $70 million to own the same looking thing, but I promise you, all of them are gonna lose money except for, you know, the four or 5%. And that's what America's all about. If the price of making money is you, Jerry, shitting on it, I think that's a price I'm willing to pay. My instincts were right as always. NFTs are definitely a scam. 
Which means I had one last question for people. Look, I have to get on board, okay? If I don't get in on this, I'm gonna hate myself forever. 1,000%, can't lose. Great, so can you lend me some money to get in on this? Um, no. So can I take a photo of your artwork that you just sold and make an NFT out of that? You could, it probably will not sell for very much. We'll see about that, my pervert friend. Yes, we will.